Mr. Joseph Young of Africa. It's obscure film wrestling. Remember how Mighty Joe Young waved goodbye? Another big one. Ooh. Audience hits joke with Patriot. All right. You know, during the commercial, I was thinking about the first movie that I ever saw, and it, it was a home movie. It was done in uh, 1956, eight millimeter, real shaky, backyard family barbecue. My dad was at the camera, my uncle Danny was at the grill. You know those old home movies that always look like this? My whole family was there, my Uncle Danny, my Aunt Bertie, my mother, and the funny thing was, Brian Dennehy was in it. It was the strangest thing. <laughs> That's good. All right, got your back. To present... Ron, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. You like this? Okay. To present the next two awards, a woman who fought off Gremlins 1 and 2, a man who fought for the law and the law won and reversal of fortune. He's a Tony Award winner as well. Here is Phoebe Cates and Ron Silver. The category of Best Documentary Feature Length has been an important part of the Oscar tra tradition for over 50 years. It's not as sexy, perhaps, as uh, Best Picture or Best Director, but still, it's one of the most beloved and anxiety-producing categories at Oscar parties throughout the country. Because, as we all know, whoever gets this one right inevitably goes on to win the pool. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Uh, it is true, I got... Okay, so... <laughs> Pencils ready, America. The nominees are... American Dream, Barbara Koppel and Arthur Cohn Produces. Berkeley in the 60s, Mark Kitchell, Producer. Building Bombs, Mark Morey and Susan Robinson, Producers. Forever Activists, stories from the veterans of the Abraham Lincoln Brigade, Judith Montel, producer. Waldo Salt, a screenwriter's journey, Robert Hillman and Eugene Corr, producers. And the Oscar for feature length documentary goes to American Dream, Barbara Koppel and Arthur Cohn, producers. Dear friends of the Academy, I take great pride to accept the Academy's recognition of our work together. I want you to know that only in America, in a free democracy like America, would it have been possible to make a film like American Dream. And I feel today more than ever, the free world owes America, the United States of America, deep respect, and everlasting gratitude. Barbara? Thanks. Yes, um, I'd like to uh, honor all the other documentarians because their work was so remarkable. I'd like to thank um, my parents, my son, Nicholas, and Eugene Carroll for all their support and love, the editors of the film, Larry Silk, Tom Haneke, Kathy Kaplan, the cameraman, Kevin Keating, Hart Perry, Peter Gilbert. And I'd like to dedicate this film to the people of the Midwest and the families and the meatpackers in Austin, Minnesota, whose American dream is so precious and so vital. And they went out on strike for their slice of the American dream and were permanently replaced. And lastly, for James Michael Carroll, whose life was so violently interrupted, he will be deeply missed. In the
category of documentary short subject, the subjects are long on variety. These are the five nominees who so successfully use this compressed form to express their ideas. Burning Down Tomorrow, Kit Thomas, producer. Chimps, So Like Us, Karen Goodman. And Kirk Simon, producers. Days of Waiting, Stephen Okazaki, producer. Journey into Life, The World of the Unborn, Derek Brommel, producer. Rose Kennedy, A Life to Remember, Frida Lee Mock and Terry Sanders, producers. And the Oscar goes to Days of Waiting, Stephen Okazaki, producer. I didn't trip. Uh, I'd like to thank the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the Wallace, Wallace Alexander Gabodi Foundation for funding me. I'd like to thank Cheryl Yoshioka and Bacon Sakatani for working on the film. I'd like to thank my friends and family, particularly my mother and father, for their support. And I'd like to dedicate this to Estelle Ishigo, who devoted her life to fighting racism. Thank you. One of the real thrills of this job is to get to introduce people like our next presenter. When I saw him backstage, he said to me, are you introducing me? 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 I'm talking to you. Are you introducing me? Can you hear me? I think you can hear me. Are you introducing me? Don't look at me that way. Are you introducing me? He's a tremendous actor. He has been a taxi driver, a deer hunter, a king of comedy, and a raging bull. All parts my agent turned down for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, five-time nominee, two-time Oscar winner, a real hero for me, Robert De Niro. The colorful tapestry of frontier history is the third of this year's Best Picture nominations. It's a story of how Native Americans struggled fiercely to survive. A romantic white soldier joins the dignified Sioux as they battle their enemies, unfriendly tribes, the Union Army, white settlers, and harsh winters. <laughs> Dances with wolves. <laughs> 